Hi everybody, it's Emily, emilylynnfisher.com, and tonight I want to talk about staying in the now, in the present, and why it's so important to just focus on the now. Don't look too far ahead, don't look too far behind, stay in the now. Not in the past, not in the present, but the now. Got it? Alright, let's move on. So a few weeks ago I was feeling really down and bad and depressed and just kind of down and out because I was looking too far ahead into the future about where I'm not right now and where I think I should be and I was also at that same point looking in the past where I used to be and where I'm now and I was comparing the two and it was just a bad scene because nothing good could come out of comparing how I am now to the future and the past like it just made me feel really bad and same for you don't look too far back in the future about how it used to be and how it should be and like it, there's nothing good can come out of thinking like that okay so um two examples are looking in the past I was looking in the past because a few years ago I used to have five employees and now I only have two and I was thinking what was I doing back then things were so much better I must have been doing so much better with five and like just getting down on myself and why couldn't you hand you can't handle five now like just these little stories I tell myself and you know what I'm doing better now with two employees than I was with five because my productivity has gone up I've hired more skilled, trained employees, and uh, I'm charging more and covering all my costs and everything, and I'm actually making more money with two employees than I am with five. So it doesn't even matter that before I had five and now I have two, because they don't even compare. I was comparing that five was better than two, but in actuality, two is better than five when you look at the facts so it's better for me to just stay in the now and focus on what is real what is good and how to is better than five even though like in my mind I was thinking quantity over quality five is better than two so my other example is looking too far ahead in the future so what I was looking at also at the same point when I was feeling down and out is where I thought I should be, where I am now, and where I think that I should be now. So I was hoping that by this point um, I would be able to stay home like one day a week with my daughter, and that's still not possible right now. But it wasn't until one of my past employees came over to visit, and he came at 6.30. He just stopped on his way by just to see if I was home. So he came to the door and he's like, oh my god, like you're home? And I'm like, oh yeah, I've been home for a little over an hour. He's like, oh my god, I didn't, I just stopped. I didn't think you were going to be here. Because in the past, I used to be working until 6, 7, 8, 9 o'clock at night, every night during my busy landscaping season. And now I have the ability to pick my daughter up at 5 p.m., and be home and spend from 5 and 8, 5 to 8 with my daughter. That wasn't possible before, or I didn't do it before because I was working. So I'm, I was looking at how I can't stay home one day a week with my daughter, but in actuality, I am, like it is good now because before I wouldn't have been home at 5 p.m. with my daughter. So I was focusing all my energy on how and what I, how I wasn't home with her or what I didn't have right now than what I did because it's awesome that I get to pick her up at 5 p.m. every night. And it's also awesome because some days I don't bring her to daycare until um, 8.30 and don't start work until like 9. So I get to spend that little bit in the morning too. So I do have it really good right now and I was so down and out looking the past and looking the future and not focusing on the now. And it wasn't until he actually came here and was like, oh my god, I didn't even, why, you're home? That I wasn't even fully aware of how good I actually had it. So 
since then, I've really been focusing on what's just going on, like, right now, and how good I do have it, because nothing's really bad. Nothing in my life is bad. But when you focus your energy on what you had, or what the past was like, and what you wish you had, and what you wish now was like, nothing good can come out of it. So just focus on the now, what you have now, and what's good about the present and you'll be much happier so emilylynnfisher.com that's my tip for tonight and tune in tomorrow i'll be back tomorrow all right have a good night bye